hello everyone welcome back to the channel today i am going to be doing a quick comparison between this 2024 mazda cx5 2.5 select to this 2024 mazda cx5 2.5 preferred one reason why this comparison is very important is because this eternal blue maker is the base trim level and this so crystal red metallic is the second trim level so this one is the only trim is the trim level that is higher than this trim level and when you come to the front one thing you are going to notice is that the front grill are the same this both came with led headlights and led taillight and this both come standard with all-wheel drive system which is one of the best in the automotive industry one thing you will notice is that even though this is the base this both came with 17 inch alloy wheels with this yokohama joe lander tires and one little difference about these two is that if you look at this select trim level you don't have mud guard but when you come over to this 2.5 as preferred you get mud guard on both of these you get body color matching fender flare and if you look at the bottom of these you also get the paint that is integrated onto the bottom which is different from the 2023 in the interior of this base trim level you get leather red seats which feel really nice and one thing that is really important to know is that on this base trim level you don't get a sunroof which i think is still okay because this one costs less than the 2.5s preferred in the interior of this 2.5s select you get a 10.25 central display with apple carplay and android auto in the interior of this 2.5s preferred you get power front seat which is more advanced than the 2.5s select and you get this beautiful leather seat on this trim level you get a sunroof but if you look at the front on the dashboard you also get the same 10.25 central display with apple carplay and android auto on this 2.5s preferred you get a powered driver seat and a power front passenger seat but when you come over to the 2.5s select you only get a front power driver seat and a manual power front passenger seat one thing mazda have done is that this two trim level that we are comparing came with heated front seats which i think is very impressive for pricing as this is this cost $30,675 for this 2.5S Select. Here at Lee Johnson Mazda in Kirkland, they don't have any markup on their cars or SUV. On this 2.5S Preferred, this one as it is cost $33,840. These are both powered by Mazda Skyactiv G 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission this engine produces 187 horsepower and 185 pound feet of torque for mpg you get 26 miles to a gallon in the city 31 miles to a gallon on the highway and up to 28 miles to a gallon combined which is very impressive and when properly equipped you can tow up to 2000 pounds with this cx5 but if you are someone who wants more power you can get this 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission this engine produces 227 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque which is a lot of power for a compact crossover suv for mpg on this you get 22 miles to a gallon in the city 27 miles to a gallon on the highway and up to 24 miles to a gallon combined this trim that we are looking at currently is the 2.5 carbon turbo 
which cost $39,405. Which is very impressive that you get another engine option with more power if you are someone who needs more power. This Mazda CX-5 has a cargo space of 29.1 cubic feet behind the rear seat and when you when you fold the rear seat down you get about 59.3 cubic feet of cargo space which is very impressive because this has a length of 180.1 inches and a wheelbase of 106.2 inches when you open this 2.5 s preferred this is what the rear seats are like they are very comfortable and one thing mazda have done is that you get two vents but if you look here you get a slot for your phone you get two cup holders but under the armrest when you open it like this you get two usb charging ports right there which is a 2.1 a usb charging port on the rear of this 2.5 s select this is what the seats are like you also get the same two cup holders and the two usb charging port which is very impressive this true trim level came with leather wrapped steering wheel and on the door you get very soft padding on it and you here you get your window control you get a chrome door handle and on the door you get massive storage compartment next to the driver you still get a lot of chrome the vents are surrounded with chrome this came with a push start button just like this select trim level and here you get your control for your central display and you get your mazda intelligent drive this you also get sport mode which i think is very impressive i love that mazda have stayed with physical buttons which can be very helpful when driving the mazda cx5 is going to come with double exhaust which i think helps this to look very nice on top of this 2.5 s preferred this is one of the major difference you get this chrome uh roof rails but when you come over to the 2.5 s select you don't get those roof rails and i think these roof rails look really cool on this you get the shark fin and on the rear you get this led tail light which i think look really good Every CX-5 is going to come with Mazda's latest safety and security features which include a cross traffic alert, Mazda radar cruise control, advanced smart city brake support, smart brake support, front, front and rear side air curtains, airbag, front side impact airbags, advanced dual front airbags, traction control system, dynamic stability control, electronic brake system with electronic brake distribution and brake assist this also come with lane keep assist lane departure warning blind spot monitoring tire pressure monitoring system anti-theft engine immobilizer large child safety seat anchors five passenger three-point safety belt 24-hour roadside assistance mazda intelligent new vehicle limited warranty so what do you think about the comparison between this 2024 mazda 2.5 s select and this 2024 mazda cx5 2.5 s preferred these two trim level are the closest please i want you to leave your comment in the comment section if you are new to my channel please subscribe like and share this video so that when i post future videos like this you will be among the first to see my videos I will be including the review I did on this 2.5 S Select. So if you watch this video to the end, you're gonna find this review on this video. Hello Thank everyone, you. welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at this 2024 Mazda CX-5. This 2024 Mazda CX-5 is still a compact crossover SUV that has remained one of the best selling Mazda ever because this has a lot of room with a wheelbase of 106.1 inches and the length of 180.1 inches you get a lot of leg and headroom in this compact crossover suv this exterior color that we are looking at is called the eternal blue maker and this has this black leather red interior 
which look and feel really nice. In front of the driver, you get a 10.25 central display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And even though this is the 2.5S Select, which is the base Mazda CX-5, you still get heated front seats, which is very impressive. Every 2024 Mazda CX-5 comes standard with Mazda Skyactiv G all-wheel drive system, which is one of the best. And this is equipped with this 17-inch alloy wheels with this Yokohama tires. One thing that is different about this 2024 Mazda CX-5 is that you get body color matching fender flares. And on the front, you get the same grille which is just like the 2023 but if you look down here you get the same body color machine paint color on the bottom which was different on the 2023 this is powered by mazda's naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that is paired with a six-speed automatic transmission this engine produces 187 horsepower and 185 pound feet of torque which is one torque lower than the 2023 the place this new 2024 mazda cx5 really shine is that for mpg you get 26 miles to a gallon in the city 31 miles to a gallon on the highway and up to 28 miles to a gallon combined which is very impressive and when properly equipped, you can tow up to 2,000 pounds with this CX-5. And every CX-5 is going to come with a double exhaust, which makes this tool really stand out and look good. This comes standard with LED tail lights and LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. Another thing that is very impressive about this 2024 Mazda CX-5 is that if you don't want this 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine, you can also get this turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that is also paired with a six speed automatic transmission. One place this is so amazing is that you get 227 horsepower and up to 310 pound feet of torque. For MPG on this turbo, you get 22 miles to a gallon in the city, up to 27 miles to a gallon on the highway, and 24 miles to a gallon combined. On this trim, which is the 2.5 carbon turbo, this one costs $39,405. And one thing that is very impressive is that you get this terracotta red interior which is very beautiful and with this you get a sunroof on this select trim level which is the base this one as it is cost thirty thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars here at lee johnson mazda in kirkland they don't have any markup they sell at msrp which i think is very impressive in today's market where some people still have markup on their cars. In the interior, you get some chrome that is integrated into the dash and everywhere you look, even on the gear lever, you get some chrome, which is very impressive. I love that Mazda has stayed with physical buttons. Under the armrest, you get two USB charging ports and a charger there. Even the select, you get power driver seat and out the door you get soft padding here and you get this window controls and a chrome door handle on the door you get a massive storage compartment for your water bottle or anything you want to put in even though this is a compact crossover suv you get two vents you get chrome that is around the vent this is a five passenger compact crossover suv but one thing Mazda have done this year is that you get 
two cup holders here and you get this slot for your phone and if you lift this up one thing Mazda have done is that they have included two USB charging ports. So for example, if you want to charge your phone and you don't want anyone to know, you can put your phone here and plug it into these two USB charging ports, which is very impressive. This CX-5 